Hello everybody, Van Berman here. Welcome to another RPG Maker VX Ace tutorial. I've had a message from Phanton Dude, and he was wondering how I implemented the side view battle system. Oh, sorry, your battle system where the player's party is on one side and the enemies are on the other. Um, thank you, and any links would be helpful as well. So I'm going to combine that along with the ATB system as well, seeing as they're very similar things, and. Um, yeah, you don't have to do both, but if you wanted to have both, you could do. And, you know, there'll be a point to stop at as well during the video if all you want is the side view system. Okay. Um, and, also, the links will be in the description below. So, uh, if you do need to go and grab those scripts, then uh, you can do quite easily. Okay. So, um, we are up on here at the minute, but... It's not really that important. Now most of it's going to come through this, which is the script editor. Uh, but we will go through that in a second, mainly because the most important thing to do firstly is talk about this here. Now this is Jan Fly's uh, website, which once again will be in the in the description. So the things that you're going to need are uh, the Ace Core system, which is here. That's just his. Um, yeah, the core system for to make sure things are compatible with his work. And then you're also going to need the Ace Battle Engine as well, which is here. Um, and the Visual Battlers. And then those three will enable you to have a side view battle system. And then finally, uh, I've lost the other one. That's annoying. Ah, uh, no, it's okay. And then finally, we'll need to use. Uh, this customizable ATB Stanima based battle system uh, by FOMA0153. Now, the great thing about Yanfly is that all of his scripts you can use for free on any project, whether it's a free one or whether it's one you're wanting to sell. Uh, all you have to do is obviously give credits uh, for what you've used, uh, which makes you know things really easy and good. So, <clears throat> I'm going to just basically take you through it step by step, very basically. Um, so you know how it works. Okay, so... Uh, oh, right. Okay then. That's not good. <laughs> Let's hope that there's something else instead. Oh, okay, well, it's here. So what you can do is you can just... I wonder if we can... Oh, no. Okay, we can't do that. <laughs> no. So what you need to do is you're just going to need to copy and paste the whole thing. Um, if it comes as a file, you can just open it in Notepad, and it will come out like this, and then just uh, Control and A, select or select all, Control and C, copy, and then go into your script editor and Control and V. It really is as easy as that. So hopefully this will speed up at some point. No, it doesn't want to hurry. I need some elevator music for this, but... Oh. Just got it there as well. Oh, what? Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> well, that was stupid of me. But never mind. So once you've got it copied, you then go back into your script editor, paste it in, and um, that needs to go. Oh, what we're doing. That needs to go in your material section, so under here, and it will. But this one will have to be one of the the first ones. So we're just going to control V that in. Okay, so, and then make sure, well, just to keep things in order, I'm going to put, I don't know if you'll be able to see this on your screen, um, I'm just going to name the file as well, and then apply, and you can just right click on here and insert a few more spaces because you're going to need them, 
and then we have to switch back <coughs> to here and pick up the battle engine you can just follow the links down in the description I should have thought ah it's here as well that's pretty cool okay so this is another way how it will come up as well but same thing control A to select all and then you're going to want to copy and that go back over to your script and place it in and remember to name so you know what they are <laughs> it's quite important uh, so this one is battle engine okay <clears throat> apply now if I did some testing now it wouldn't really show that much so we're gonna go on and do the visual battlers first which will take some tweaking to set up uh, it is worth noting uh, that that is gonna happen and then this is the the one that will get your characters on screen and then I'll will show you how it works so download link again <coughs> control and A to select it head on back over to your scripts make sure it goes under both of these I mean I think visual battlers needs to be right at the bottom of your um, extra materials I believe it has to go under everything so <clears throat> yeah make sure that it is at the bottom <clears throat> now the script is quite user friendly really it does take a little bit of time to get around it but this here is um, what decide how you know how it decides where your uh, where your party are are looking. <clears throat> so we've applied it. We're going to click OK. And then we're just going to have a quick demonstration to see how it works. So remember always save your project before you want to try any changes. Head back up to tools and let's go on troops. Okay, so let's fight two slimes now. Because the slimes are right in the middle, it's going to look a bit silly, but. It's just a test, so we'll just have to see. Oh, it's going to be really loud, this. Uh, I'm looking forward to this. Okay. Oh, wait. If I do that, and that, <laughs> there we go, we'll be fine. So, yeah, this is how it will appear. And as you can see, you've got your party members on that right side of the screen. They're all, well, by default, they're already staggered, and they already walk. Now you can turn that off by all means, so it's quite simple. And when they attack, they will just walk towards and do their basic attack, whatever that may be. Um, so that's how easy it is to get the visual one installed. Now for fine tweaking and things, you're going to want to adjust the troops position. So, no, oh, well, that's loud. And have it over there. Hmm. Which then, when you start up a new one, puts them more where you would expect them to be. Um, but you're going to have to do that with all of your troops and make sure that they all work properly like that. Their eyes. It's going to look silly. Uh, so if we go back onto the script, you can easily change which direction they're facing. So I used to have it so they were facing up so that you just had to move back the enemy battlers and you can also change whether they walk or not uh, and I don't remember how you do that <laughs> it's, there's just a switch in here somewhere that allows you to do that how have I forgotten where it is <laughs> There we go. It's under line 356 where it says moving. Um, and. Oh no. No. That's not it. Well, I've probably missed it, but it is definitely in there. So you can make your characters move or not move depending on, you know, how you want it. It's definitely. If you look for it, it'll be, it is in there. I promise. <laughs> Ah dear, that's embarrassing. But never mind. So that is your that's how it's set up for the side view battle system. 
and you can tweak you know how they're staggered how close they are to each other and that sort of stuff at your own desire I didn't you have to do a lot of tweaking to get it just how you want it but it's well worth doing so in order to get the Stanima battle system we have to go over to here by former I don't want to see an ad and from what I remember uh, this guy has got the same or very similar rights well um, <clears throat> Very similar ideas to Yan Flyers, and you can just literally give him credit, and it will work. So, I'm going to Control A on his script, copy it, head over, head over back to our game, go on to scripts, and then on Visual Battlers, you're going to want to press Insert, so it creates a new one above it. Name, we're going to call it ATB, and then we're going to paste it in. Um, and there are things you can change around with this, but I found that it works quite well just off the bat. So we're going to apply, OK, save, and we'll do a battle, another battle test just to see, make sure it's working. OK, it's not working. <laughs> it happens. Right, so what is wrong here? Icons with... Hmm. Hmm. That is strange. Right. I think there's a problem with how it's drawing on the ATB system would be my guess so let's take it out for now and just check everything is working normally without it in yep okay it is uh, it's because it has to add like a whole new line across to get it to work you see and ah So, I'm going to quickly have a look and see if there's a reason why it's not worked correctly. Yep. Requires the Ace Battle Engine, which I've got in. Unfortunately, this happens sometimes, and I'll have to go away, find out why it's not working, and I'll do a separate video on the uh, ATB system, but the side view battle system at least, I managed to show you that working in there, you know, there are a couple of things you can change through that, let me just try one more time, I'm just going to try and copy and paste this in again. I know what the problem is, I'm just not sure how to fix it at the minute. Database. Troops battle test. It's probably not going to work. Yep, yeah, okay, it's not going to work. So, yeah, there you have it. This will just be a side view battle system video. And I'll have to do a separate video, which will be a follow up to this one on the ATB once I figured it out. 
Um, but thank you for watching, everybody. And uh, I'll see you next time, guys. Goodbye.